What is going on with Caleb in Westworld Season 3? What are all those flashbacks about, and who is he? Hi everyone, this is Robert. Welcome to In Deep Geek. I'm covering Westworld Season 3 in full, so if you want episode breakdowns, explanations, live discussions and much more, please click the subscribe button in the bottom right of your screen and the bell icon. There's something mysterious about Caleb. Aaron Paul, the actor, tells us that there is something more, something bigger to come from him, but even without that clue, it's clear that there is something going on. He was getting unexplained flashbacks. His mum said that he wasn't her son. He seems to take this in his stride, so we're supposed to assume it's dementia, but it's still odd. And Dolores chose him and stuck with him. Yes, the first meeting could have been an accident. He surprises her by helping her. When she tracks him down, it may be because of that and because she needs a human. Remember, she needed to inject that blood encryption key into someone. But the fact is that she's kept him around and told him a plan, even beyond when he is obviously useful as a simple human. Yes, Dolores seems to like having a posse around her, but this is something more. When Liam Dempsey Jr. seems to be frightened of him, we'll get onto that in a minute, she seems bored, uninterested in it, as if she already knew it all already. So, what is going on? OK, so let's start with the story we're sort of told. He has a tragic backstory. No father in sight, his mother heading off when he was young. He was in the military. He had a friend, Francis, who died, and he's now in some kind of rehabilitation programme. This involves him applying for jobs, turning up to his boring-looking construction job, and taking calls from what appears to be an AI of his dead friend to help him work through his PTSD. So far, so dystopian future. He's presented, deliberately by the showrunners, as being an everyman human. Thematically, he's shown as being a mirror of the hosts. The top-down image of him waking up is the same they use for the hosts in season one, and he clearly has a loop of some description he's going through. Go to work, eat his lunch, work some more, log into Rico for some low-level crime, visit his mum, who was in some kind of private hospital, and then head back home. Rinse and repeat. But obviously he isn't the same as everyone else. He has unattached himself from the network to start with, and in episode one we see him opting out of the discussions with the AI of his dead friend, and walking around apparently now free to do as he wishes. He stumbles across Dolores in that underpass, and then the story begins. So he's clearly different in that he isn't accepting the tools that the system is giving him to survive and thrive. And there's something odd in the flashbacks we see as well. He doesn't seem to be normal military, instead some sort of black ops mission perhaps. It's definitely not clear in the first few episodes. And yet we have to acknowledge that he seems particularly docile for someone who is making such life-changing decisions. He just goes along with what Dolores says. And although we can probably forgive him for not being at his most alert while tripping on genre and not hitting the target when Dolores gives him that grenade launcher thing, he also doesn't give the impression of being ex-military. People pull guns on him and he just stares at them. They grab hold of him and he lets them, and so on. No military instincts, still less what you might expect from a black ops soldier. He doesn't seize the initiative, but he also doesn't seem to be frozen by PTSD at these points. He just comes across as numb. So what is going on? Well, episode five gives us a lot of clues. Previously, Dolores had shown Caleb his Rehoboam readout, which basically had him as a worker drone, condemned to a life of construction work until an early death by suicide. It's how she recruits him, by showing him how the system has trapped him and locked him in. But in episode 5, Liam Dempsey Jr. uses his interactive glasses to see who Caleb is, and his reaction is startling. We can safely assume that he didn't see what Dolores showed Caleb. If he'd seen that, he would have seen Caleb as a nobody. We see how he reacts to Ash and Giggles, telling him they always were and always will be petty criminals. They are lowlife, nothing to him. But when he sees Caleb's records... He takes a step back. He looks scared. He says, get away from me. Later, he tells Caleb that you're the worst of them and you don't even know who you are. 
When he is shot on the beach, dying, and Caleb is trying to save him, even then he tells Caleb to get away from him. Whatever Dempsey saw in Caleb's files, it scared him senseless. So Caleb doesn't know who he is, who he is scares Dempsey, and Dempsey says that he is the worst of them. So Caleb is one of a group of people, and the worst one from Dempsey's perspective. And the clues are there that he may be seen as a danger by Serac as well. Serac sends his shooters after Dolores and the gang, and when those two jump out of the car, they look like they're about to shoot Caleb, not Dolores. Dolores gets in the way and takes a bullet for him. Later he says to her, about those shooters, but she says they'll talk about that later. We're probably supposed to assume that he was wondering how she survived that bullet wound, but he's already seen her have a miraculous recovery from lots of bullet wounds before, showing superhuman strength and the like, so it's probably not that. Probably much more likely that he was wanting to know why they were shooting at him. He does seem to now be questioning the nature of his own reality, so to speak, by asking Dolores who Dempsey thinks he is. Again, she didn't answer. So Rehoboam and Serac and Dempsey by proxy think that Caleb is a danger, has to be killed, and doesn't know who he really is. And Dolores probably also knows who he is, which is why she's keeping him with her, but she's not answering his questions. Quite the mystery. The answer to all this, I think, comes in what else is happening in episode 5. Westworld often works like this, showing you two or more storylines that may not seem to have much in common, but actually they do. The other storyline in episode 5 is Serac, his brother, and the building of Rehoboam. We discover that Rehoboam's big blind spot is outliers. Serac goes off on a bit of a rant about them, calling them renegades, but it appears that these are just people who do the unexpected, the creatives, the geniuses, and the agitators. They disrupt the ordered world that Rehoboam is trying to create, so they need to be stopped. If they get taken out of the equation, then Rehoboam can get back to managing everything, putting everyone in their preordained boxes, and so on. So the system identifies who these outliers are, then they are dealt with. Serac talks about them being sent to war zones, and we see facilities he has built for them to be locked up in. We're supposed to take note of this because we're shown someone in there, not just a bunch of random people, but Serac's own brother. And when you think about it, of course, he is an outlier. He dreamed up building a computer god which could manage human history, and then he built it. That's impressive. Scary, but impressive. An outlier if ever there was one. Finally, we hear Serac talk of editing the outliers, for which I think we have to read Change Them. So, if we're to spot one of these outliers, we've now got quite a lot of clues. We might expect them to have spent some time in one of those correctional facilities, then perhaps been to a war zone, then been edited or changed so perhaps loved ones don't know who they are anymore. We would expect them to be capable of doing unexpected things and instinctively want to be off-grid, but changed so as to be mostly passive and accepting of what's going on now. Finally, we would expect them to have a profile like everyone else with a rather depressing limit on what they can achieve in life, but those with deeper access to the Rehoboam would be able to see exactly who they are and view them as a threat. And all that is exactly what we have with Caleb. We already know that in his flashbacks he has memories of being in a war zone. Under the influence of genre, the last genre he experiences, which Giggles tellingly labels reality, we see him in some kind of facility that looks suspiciously like the one Serac was locking the outliers up in. He seems to have two profiles on Rehoboam, the one that has been running his life and Dolores showed him, and the scarier one that Liam Dempsey sees, suggesting it or he has been changed or edited. His mother certainly seems to think that he has been. He seems to surprise people like Dolores, but still spends most of his time rather passively following orders, as if he's capable of great things, but something is stopping him. In short, Caleb is everything we would expect an outlier to be. Sirach thinks that an outlier, or the outlier, will bring about the end of the human race, no less, 
which would make sense of why Liam Dempsey is so scared of Caleb, and why Serac's shooters seem to be targeting him rather than Dolores, the more obvious threat. Caleb is the outlier. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below, or join me on Sundays at 5pm Eastern Time for my pre-show livestream. In Deep Geek is covering Season 3 of Westworld in full. The link to my Westworld Season 3 playlist is on the left of your screen, so please click on that if you want more episode breakdowns and theory videos and the like. Or if you'd like to support In Deep Geek, or get access to some of the content I create exclusively for my patrons, please click on the link on the right of your screen. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you again soon.